Hey, what's up? Welcome to our YouTube channel, uh, or welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you've come back, thank you. Uh, this video today is about how we did the door panels uh, in our Ford Transit Connect XLT 2012 model. Um, so in this video, you'll see we use quarter-inch plywood, um, Havelock wool, and some kill mat uh, on the door panel. Uh, and this project was actually a lot simpler than I thought it would be and had far less hiccups than a lot of the other projects that I've worked on on this van. Uh, if you want to see our other videos, we have lots of, um, lots of kind of how-to videos. Uh, this is our first time doing this. We're not experts. So we wanted to create a resource that we wish that we had uh, just with some, some little bit of extra helpful videos. Some of them are a little longer than I would like. However, I want to make sure that I'm thorough with them and not leaving you to, to wonder. Um, but if you want to check out our other videos, go ahead and check out our, our step, step by step playlist on our channel. Um, I'll post a, I'll put a link that somewhere up here. Um, but yeah, enjoy this video. Um, if you find it helpful, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and you can see all the updates on all the projects as we continue to move through. All right. Enjoy. Okay, so now that I got that piece cut uh, to the maximum width and the maximum height, which I think was 33 and a half, roughly by 48, um, I'm gonna trace the outline of that that board onto a large piece of cardboard. I knew I kept those massive piles of boxes around for a reason. Um, and so I'm gonna trace it on there. Then I, I should be able to, in theory, in my own head, at least at the moment, be able to put that up uh, in the actual door frame and kind of trace out uh, what, that, what I need to cut for the door. So what I did is just took that piece of cardboard. I, I had to cut out a little bit down there to get around a bump, but I'm just using some painter's tape, holding it up to where I need it to sit. And then I'm going to go on the inside of the van. And I'm gonna try to trace out at least some of these curves. And that'll make it a lot easier than having to do all the guessing, guesswork and things like that. So we're gonna go for it. Before we actually put the panel on, I got to prep this wall a little bit, or this door a little bit more. I got to insulate in this cavity here, uh, kind of stuff it up into these cavities the best that I can. And then I got to put some insulation in front of the window. And then I'm going to put some kill mat sound deadener up on the, the metal and then in here as well, probably right here as well. I'll put it in a few spots where it's more hollow. Um, again, if you saw my last or a previous video when I was doing the ceiling, um, <clears throat> I didn't do a ton of research into the kill mat sound deadening. I got the 80 mil, um, just the 18 square feet and I'm just kind of like placed it on the random spots. And essentially what you do is you just stick that on there. It's got a peel back. I cut it with a, just a utility knife and then I got this roller sound deadening roller it's like 12 bucks on amazon and then you just roll it out um this one hasn't been working super great for me it just keeps getting stuck but um but that's just to, essentially to kind of try to take some of that echo away from from the metal um but we'll see so i gotta prep this before i put that panel up all right so there we go so i just used some painter's tape to kind of hold it in place uh in the interim now i'm gonna go cut that panel out of my template.
Okay, so I took this template uh, that I cut out before and test it out. And I cut the same one, just put it on another piece of plywood, traced it out, put it on the same one. Um, I assume that the doors are identical, so we're gonna go with that assumption for this. Uh, and then I'm gonna use one inch self-tapping lathe screws or lath screws uh, to just, I've marked a few spots with painter's tape where I know that I can screw. Uh, that way, I'm not screwing into nothing. So I've, I've kind of inspected the door, figured out, hey, where are the best spots that I can screw in? And then I marked them on the sides. So here we go. Okay, so that wraps up the door panels. Looking really nice. Um, one thing to make sure, make sure, make sure, make sure, if you're ever drilling self-tapping screws into the metal of the van, make sure you know what's behind it. So um, you're not drilling into wires um, or you're not drilling into components that are important to the functionality of the actual vehicle. So that's always a good idea just in general. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with how they turned out. Um, the only thing I have to do still for like walls and doors and things like that is the back doors. And those we can really do anytime. So we're gonna skip forward now to starting on construction of the bed and the cabinets and all of that fun stuff so that this can be livable. Um, and so that's kind of the, the deal. I did run out of Havelock wool. So I got just the one box and I got, well, I got this much left and it's about half of one of those sheets that they give you. Uh, I sent a, a nice email to Havelock to see if there's any way possible that I don't have to buy another box just to, cause I just need to insulate the little cavity and then the window on the back windows. Um, maybe take three little sheets and I don't need 20 of them. So we'll see. Uh, I'm not, not expecting anything, but, um, otherwise I might just try to look elsewhere. Um, but yeah, so if, if you found this video helpful at all, if you enjoyed it, uh, give it a like down below, uh, subscribe to the channel. If you're wanting to see more kind of how to's, um, as I'm going through from a beginner van builder, uh, if I can do it, you certainly can too. Um, not everything is, you know, perfect. There, I can see a dozen imperfections right now, but that's okay because uh, this is our van um, and the build's going to be sweet. So get after it. Uh, like the page, subscribe to the page, and I can't wait to see you for the next video. Check you later.